Bienvenue, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Taste Try Travel Studios, otherwise known as the Spare Bedroom. Thanks for watching our Regal Princess series. Beth and I are really excited for the MSC Seashores that are coming out in our next series. But before that, I wanted to do this room tour video. We love inside rooms, Beth and I, just as much as balconies, in fact. They're cooler in the Caribbean. They don't let light in so you can sleep. Plus, they're cheaper, so you get more money to do stuff. But sometimes inside rooms get a bad rap. Sometimes they deserve it, lots of times they don't. And this one on the Regal Princess definitely doesn't deserve it. It is on Baja Deck 11, and it is uh, what they call a sideways oriented room, meaning it runs front to back. Most rooms face side to side. This room, front to back. This inside room felt roomier than any other inside room that we have tried. So here it is. Enjoy the video and please excuse our silliness as we try to make a standard room tour video a little more fun. It's a room. It's a tour. It's the Taste Try Travel Room Tour. And now a big welcome for our house, Beth. Hi there. Hello. Welcome to our interior stateroom tour. We are on Baja Deck 516. 516. All right, so we'll start right here on the back of the door. Every room has one, obviously. It tells you where our muster station is. We'll show you around and then we'll tell you why we love these kind of rooms. So, nice big TV. What's playing? You know what's really fun is they have on demand the love boat i think there's a like lot, every episode a lot of yeah um so nice and big you can turn it a little but there's no really need to so this is the main desk office area over here lots of important papers is typically where they put them nice full drawer here ignore all the it's our medication. pharmacy and hair dryer drawer. Yep. Like this everybody is, has. This is connected, but you still have plenty of room to use it. Right. In front of the mirror. I can stand out in the hallway and use that. You can. Sorry. Didn't need to turn that on. Um, you have three more fairly decent sized drawers here. Open every drawer. Because that's what you do yep. on room tours. Yep. In here, you have a. Oh, let's get the right side. Now, if uh, our steward, state room steward, said that if you know you have the dining or dining package, if you have the drink package, you can have in room dining stock this um, with waters. Um, I don't necessarily know if you can do sodas. You might have to pay for those. But you know what's really nice? Look at this phone. It's very small. It's not one of those big ones. So you have a nice phone. Here you have one American plug. This is nothing. And then these. Turn off the vanity plug here. You have, a, I believe this is a European plug. And then one US plug here. For us, we always have a, what's this called, Chris? Uh, multi-plug. A multi-plug. This is a fun one we found on Amazon. Has lots of, uh, well, has several USB. Does it have the fast USB? Uh, I don't know that And then for three sure. plugs. You asked me a question I wasn't prepared for, sorry. <laughs> Um, so this is where there's plenty of room um, if you don't necessarily have your computer for everything else. One chair, trash can here, and then on this side, there's not really drawers, but there's things to like stash your random things. On the bedsides, there's a lamp, easy access right here to the that and then you have all of the lights here so if you're laying in bed you can turn everything off there's a little empty space and then there's again two full drawers again just place to put random miscellaneous I don't have anything in that one same exact on the other side no USB on either side if you had the bed put into like two twin beds you would have one outlet that you could access so as of now 
We both have to charge our phones over there and we don't have them at night, which is kind of a bummer. We've been really happy with the bed. <laughs> very, very, I mean, you can just see. Ugh. It's a nice, nice pillow. You just kind of like sink into it at night. And you have these nice feather pillows. But they need still have- You need a couple have, of those. You do need a couple of them, but they're not the ones that sink down to nothing. You know, they do have some bulk to them still. Um, we use, we always use these. And if you're not familiar, all of the walls and doors are metal. So a lot of times we'll hang hat, suit that needs to dry a little bit more, sunglasses, things I just don't want to get like lost or broken somewhere. And then right here, we always put these by the door. This is where our medallion is. Awesome full length mirror, plenty of room to stand. Are we measuring? Yes. It's about four hands worth. So about the size of a miniature horse or a baby elephant. Going so this way. Yes. Because I didn't measure up. Why not? Nine and a half hands. Really Mark. big horse. <laughs> Nice open closet, so there's uh, we do have the life preservers here, but we have do still have room for some extra storage up there. Plenty of room to store anything at the bottom, shoes, floaties. We also always bring a tiny, it's a tiny little fold-up hamper. That way we can just keep our dirty clothes in one spot. Still more open shelves, three open shelves, more space for shoes, and then we have this. That opens nice with again, one, two, three, four, five, six open show. And this one is safe. You can see what size it is. It has a little shelf in here. Um, what size laptop do you have? I have a 14 inch laptop. Okay, so a 14 inch laptop does not fit. A 13 you said would. Okay, the bathroom. Bathrooms are pretty small in this one because it has such a big closet area. But to start, you have two hooks for wet towels. Tiny, tiny, tiny shower. <laughs> it's still, here, I'll walk in so you can see. I mean, there's still, there's not that much room. The problem is this, because this, all you gotta do is knock it and then there's like water everywhere. So, and I think pretty much everyone out there, no one's a fan of this. Hopefully I mean, soon, if but. you like clinging <laughs> things to your bottom while you're taking a shower, exactly. Exactly. you'll love it. <laughs> the pressure is not fantastic. It's not bad. It's not bad, but you do have this where you can, you know, raise it and lower it. Um, on the handle as well, you can set the exact temperature, which I really like because I know what temperature I like and I don't have to keep feeling it and changing and adjusting. Over on this side, you have shampoo, conditioner, and then shower gel. So shampoo conditioner is one, probably never any good. I don't know, I don't really say care for those, but plenty of towels. Tissue, the toilet paper is under here. There's extra toilet paper, a trash can, nice little shelf. We keep our sandy beach shoes there. Uh, three shelves with little guards so none of your stuff falls off. Plenty of room here. You know, it's not just a tiny, you know, so you can store whatever you need there. Water works. Um, Thank God. <laughs> one other thing we forgot to show you, so back up. I wanted to end with the thermometer. The thermometer. 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 Stop it, stir. We have it all the way on cold. <laughs> what is that called? <laughs> thermometer. A thermometer. Yeah. We have it all the way on cold. Look that up in the dictionary, thermomister. everybody. Thermometer. <laughs> Let me tell you the reasons we love inside cabins. First of all, these side ones feel really spacious. You're not like having to like squeeze around the bed, plenty of room on the bed, plenty of room all the way so through So you mean here. by side, this runs front to back? Uh, correct, whichever way, yeah. The bed faces front to back. Yes. Instead of side to side. I think this is the first time we've ever got one that faces this direction. Yeah. Because we're parallel to the hallway, this way. Um, but the best thing about this is it stays nice and cool. 
right? Because there's no big windows to let the heat in. And also when you turn everything off, it's dark in here. So you can take a nap in the middle of the day. You can sleep whenever you want and you're not woken up by the light and we love that. So Regal Princess has been updated with medallion technology. As you approach the pad outside of your door, it will recognize you. So right now this is the way it would look until I come up to it. You can either tap here, it knows me. It actually can hear the door open, okay? This is also where you would click your privacy please or your service stateroom. So this has been great. You don't have to find your key. You don't have to do any of that. We really loved this. So just wanted to show you that. Bye. So that's it, Baja 516. There's lots of these kind of inside cabins. So if you like this, definitely book it because it's a great way to save money. You're not in your room that long and you can spend your money wherever else you like on the ship. All right, let's get back to the love boat. <laughs> it's like some shenanigans going on with Captain Stooping. <laughs>